I'm Jenny. I'm a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. What some people don't realize is that it still impacts my day-to-day -day life, even simple things like going to the grocery store. This is especially true when I encounter people or things that remind me of my abuser, like him. Experiences like this used to disrupt my life regularly, but now I understand what's going on in my brain. This is my limbic system. I'm not always aware of what it's up to. It helps me survive by telling me to avoid pain, especially the pain of my childhood trauma, and seek pleasure. When I saw the man in the grocery store, my limbic system connected something about him, his cologne, his hair, something to my abuse. So without even consciously knowing why, I wanted to run. There's another area of my brain called the frontal lobe. It helps me make judgments and resist urges. Where the limbic system is driven by instincts, the frontal lobe spends a little more time deciding if the situation is safe or not. My past trauma makes it harder for my frontal lobe to tell my limbic system that the present is safe. Because of this, sometimes I feel stuck in a perpetual state of alarm. The good news is that with the five strategies to reclaim hope, I'm retraining my brain and learning how to manage my fight, flight, or freeze instincts. The more I understand about my brain, the easier it is for me to progress on my healing journey and reclaim hope.